Okay, welcome to the second part of this series, which, in which we are preparing one Ubuntu server for the PHP project. And the first part, I logged into the server, updated it, and all kind of basic stuff, and installed easy softwares. Just apt, installed something. But my friend insisted that he needs... <coughs> oh, <coughs> wait. Okay, my friend Vahid uh, mentioned explicitly that he needs PHP 7.1. Also, he needs Composer and he's going to move his files using FTP, his choice. So, in this part, I'm going to log into his server. Okay, hopefully, I know the password. I do. I will become root as always. It's always good to update your server periodically. I see two new packages here, so I will update. If you don't do it for a longer time, after a few months, nobody is brave enough to apt get upgrade. Okay. So first we are going to install PHP 7.1. I think in the comments somebody asked how we can totally remove an installed package. apt remove will just uninstall the package itself. If I want to remove the PHP, I can do apt purge. Purge means remove completely or something. Purge means read of an unwanted feeling memory or a package. So, okay. I'm removing PHP 7 first. When I'm removing PHP 7, it will remove PHP whatever. It is good for me. Okay, so now we don't have the PHP command anymore. We do. So, apt purge PHP. Okay, 7. Okay, let's remove this one too. These are called virtual packages. When you are installing PHP, it will install the best PHP it knows. At the moment, it's PHP 7. Uh, apt, purge, PHP, what else do we have? We have everything. PHP 7.0, client, PHP 7.0, common. This should be enough. Okay. It's removing whatever which is not needed anymore. Meanwhile, I will open a browser. I don't have a browser. Wait. Okay, let's go with Opera. Fun enough. Okay, this is related to my work. Uh, how to install PHP 7.1? On Ubuntu, same question people have. The point is, as we saw, when you are installing PHP by itself, Ubuntu 16.04 installs PHP 7. I need PHP 7.1. It's not in the normal rep repository. So I have to add one repository. Repository just is like a index and files of all the packages my operating system knows about. So I will add one new repository in which PHP 7.1 exists. Let's see what this says. And meanwhile, upgrading PHP 7. Mm. At least one of them should open this opened. Let's see how it says. Okay, install Apache 2. And what does it do for PHP 7? PHP ini. Install and configure PHP 7. For example, Python software properties. This is adding one new PPA, which is like a repository. I will show you what's going to happen. Just install some PHP stuff in the beginning. Okay, we'll agree.
Okay, this is adding one repository. On the Debian systems, on etc apps, there are different lists, mainly this one, sources list, which tells my computer where are its repositories. Okay, there is also another directory called sources list D. This can contain other ones. If I issue that command, sorry, I'm telling, okay, someone has a repository called PHP. This is the user. Add this repository to the repositories. Now, if I do the same ls sources list d, you can see that I have a new list. This was not here at the moment. List.d. See, it says, okay, I have a new repository. It's located here. Now I can do apt updates, so that repository will be updated. And then I can search for PHP 7.1. apt purge PHP. At the moment I again have this PHP. Let's purge it, the first command I issued. apt installed PHP. Yes, show me everything. 0.56, 7.1, 7.2, I have whatever. So, PHP 7.1, now what? Common. And PHP 7.1, this will help connecting to the MySQL. Just saw it, it's good to install it, we will need it later. And also, command line interface. So now we have PHP 7.1. Same as I did before, I need to add it to the Apache. Okay, this is done. Oh, anyway. The second task is installing the Composer. Composer is a like a package manager for PHP. So I will go with the Composer install. Okay, Composer itself will tell us how I can install. Download Composer. The quickest install Composer in the current directory run the following. I want to install it globally, so every user will have access to the Composer. So this was not the best for me. Okay, installing on Linux. It says if you want to install it globally, you can place the Composer anywhere you wish. So first I have to install it locally. To install Composer locally, run the installer in your project directory. The installer will check a few PHP settings. You can install Composer to specific directory by using sound. Okay. So, to quickly install in the current directory, run the following script on your terminal. We can do this, no problem. Second one, I didn't copy it. Okay. Installer verified. Now let's run this. Installing Composer. Now it's ready. Tells me just unlink something. Okay. So now I have this Composer executable. Previous page says. Don't trust anything you find on the internet, except you're seeing it on the same file of the program. Remember this, Just don't just copy-paste whatever you found. Uh, so you can install globally. 
Okay, it says if you want to run it, just put it here. Now, normally we should have the composer command. We have. So, composer also checked. Next, we will go with the FTP access. apt install vs FTPD. I know this program, it's a very nice FTP server. Very secure FTP diamond. So, I will install it. And we will check the all the Linux configuration files are located in slash etc. This is a very nice trick. Whenever whatever you wanted to do, if it's a configuration, check the etc. So there is one VSFTPD etc. It's always good to check one by one everything, but here it says local enabled yes. So and comment is to allow local user to log in. Very strange. Uncomment this to allow local users to log in. Ah, uncomment this. So this is uncommented. Then I'll search for write because I have done this a few times. So I know what I'm searching for. Local enable, anonymous enable. No, it's okay. Uncomment this to enable any form of FTP write command. So I will uncomment this so people can put files. I've changed the configuration, so I will restart the diamond. It will read the new configuration. What I'm going to do is I will create a new directory for Wahid. We will put the whole project there. His project is going to be called Tavanito. So I will create a user called Tavanito. Add users Tavanito. Too much tour. Tavanito. Okay. The password. Hmm. What is it? Okay. Token manipulation error. Try again. Yes. Hmm. This time I did it. So everything is fine. Now we have a user called Tavanito. Wahid should be able to connect using FTP to this user. Let's check it. FTP Wahid. I don't have FTP installed. LFTP Wahid. Okay. Open. Ah, uh, we don't have a user. So I will go with Tavanito maybe. Password. Okay, so we are connected and we can do an ls. So this is done. We are here. On the next video, now we have PHP 7.1, uh, we have the composer installed and we have an FTP account to put the files. On the next, we are going to actually attach the domain name we have here to this specific server. So Apache will answer to the queries from the browser on two domains. The main domain and also why it requested one demo domain like this tavanito.com we are going to define these two and then most of the basic things are done see you later